Apart from that break, if you just joined us, the program is Good Morning Abuja on NTA Channel 5. On our road safety segment of the program this morning, we shall be bringing on board Assistant Co-Commander Imrana Ibrahim Lamba, who is the Unit Commander, Central Business District, Abuja. And we're going to talk about um, road crashes the you know speed of road crashes in the city center is alarming is on the increase and what is the way out of it so this is our focal point as we are going to bring in assistant co commander Imrana. good morning to you good morning good to have you here again Th thank you so much good i'm to always have happy seeing you on this program i don't know why god will bless you <laughs> <laughs> thank you amen amen to that yeah. that's on the lighter note that's anyway right. yeah all right can you have a review of your you know um unit command how yeah. has it fared this week the central business district yeah well, let me give the review in this form. Uh, on safety, security, the FCT, the town, FCT is safe, safety-wise. We never had a report of any attack or motoring public within the week under review. On a report on the weather, is harsh. Because I think we recorded a very fatal accident about three days ago as a result of uh, a moving vehicle moving under the rain and it ran inside a place that has a lot of water on the route and he lost control. The vehicles were assaulted. He was not on seat belt and that led to uh, loss of life. So on the weather condition, on the weather condition, I think the week under review, uh, people should have to be very careful within this week. But the last, last week we had, uh, this week we had, uh, we had a fatal crash one. Uh, on traffic uh, situation, that is traffic uh, jam, hold off on the race within the city, mm -hmm. I think the FRSC, the police, the VIO, we, are, we have taken charge and we are able to control the traffic. There was no serious hold up under the, within the period under review. Well, well, I experienced uh, one on Monday, and it wasn't funny. Was it? That was and when you are coming from. Yeah, that yeah, was as, as a result as a result of a broken down well, trailer. Okay. There was a broken no. There was yes. Last week there was a broken down vehicle too. But before our truck got into the place to remove the vehicle, mm. the, the whole the, the vehicles the traffic has was yeah, was up. built up seriously. Yeah, seriously. So even after removing the vehicle immediately, the traffic was still there mm -hmm. and there was on hold up. Yes, of course. Yeah. Because as I left home as early as five a.m. Exactly. that morning, five thirty rather. I got, in fact, when I got to the barracks, it has started building up. So I was like, this road is going to be and crazy another, an because of that broken another thing, another thing we observe is there are three potholes immediately after the bridge by uh, yes. Abacha Barrack. Yes. Now, vehicles coming in the morning are massive. Mm. And because of that hold up, most of the vehicles, they slow down to avoid mm. the, those potholes. And that leads to building of the yes. massive traffic coming from. The because effect. whenever there is an issue, any slight obstruction on the road, if the traffic is heavy, there is going to be hold up. Now, I understand this is one of the cause those potholes. Mm -hmm. Now, already a report is on process okay. to my sector commander. Then from he knows where to channel. The channel and then from there, is it to FCDA? Is it to Federal Ministry of Work? Is it to FEMA? Mm -hmm. The management at the top knows where to channel that particular report. But already now, the report is on process and very soon you will see those potholes will be taken care of. Okay, because yeah. I know it's a, the pothole there is a danger to exactly. it can cause accidents. That is true. And that brings us to the topic of discussion it's today, true. That is which true. is a, a, what causes accidents on our roads exactly. and then why accident road crashes are on the increase in, exactly. in the city center. Exactly. So, can you give us. Yeah, a te te that? technically, when you ask a road safety officer, what are the causes of road traffic crashes? He will tell you three human, mechanical, and environmental. But in the case of FCT, city, the accident we are, because in FCT we don't have environmental factor. Let me say the truth. Environmental factor is dealt with the road. Dangerous bends, bridges, bad roads, mm -hmm. 
and then you talk about weather. Weather still goes back to human factor. Mm. So Abuja roads are good. They are well designed. Mm. They, are, they, they don't cause accident, the, city, the road in the city. So you take that out. Okay. Now, mechanical factor is the vehicle. The vehicle still goes back to human, to the individual, to the driver. So that means we are going to talk about exactly what are the, causes, what are the things that causes crashes, you know, that are human factor. Uh, before then, let me tell you this thing that I always say. That is our human behavior, our attitude towards driving. Mm -hmm. Number one, let me give you like six examples. Over speeding, driving under influence of alcohol or psychoactive substances, mm -hmm. uh, dangerous driving, uh, overconfidence, mm -hmm. distraction driving, mm -hmm. use of phone and the rest, yes, distracted yes. driving mm -hmm. is another thing. Then lack of learned discipline mm. these six items i just enumerated mm. are the main causes of the crashes that are happening within fct city let me repeat speeding mm. high speed sure. because we have good roads and there are good cars so high speed mm. number two driving under influence dui mm. influence of alcohol or psychoactive substances mm. then we talk about dangerous driving. People are driving dangerously. We talk about lane discipline. People, they don't know how to use the lane. Especially the, the to, to this, exactly. You, don't know which you want to change lane. lane. Which one is... Um, is you understand me. If them. you want to interchange, you don't know. You have to show traffic. To how many mm -hmm. meters before the junction you want to change. All these things is all characterized under what? Lane discipline. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that are causing the crashes that are happening in Abuja. Now we are in a rainy season. Like I told you during the review, uh, a vehicle that uh, claimed a life of an individual. He was alone in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. It's his vehicle. Maybe nobody sent him. He sent himself. Mm -hmm. But he was on speed. It was raining. And he get to a point where there is water on the floor, on the road. Mm -hmm of speeding now like uh, at what um what do you call um uh, at what rate can you you know speed with your vehicle speed, when it is under speed speed has speed speed has uh, has uh, limits there are speed limits on the highway 100 km per hour okay. In the built-up areas, depending on the vehicle you are using, some are 40 km per hour, some are 50 km per hour. When you are driving, and depending on the vehicle, is it a saloon car, is it a bus, is it a truck or an articulated vehicle? So, talking so, about weather now, under the now, weather now, condition, now, now, like this, 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 this is what we said, driving under special condition. Okay. When there is fog, when it is raining, mm -hmm. there are certain situations that we call it driving under special conditions mm -hmm. driving under special condition needs discretional ability for the speed it, it needs discretion because at a time you have to pack if it is raining heavily mm -hmm. there is no speed limit find a safe place and pack we all know that when there is real fog or a heavy wind that carries sun there is no speed limit to that you have to find a place that is safe for you and safe for other road, road, road users road. and park. So this particular situation, we call it driving under special condition. And our people, we don't hear. Like I always tell people, nobody is an embodiment of knowledge. Mm. You may be, it's, it's not about years. Driving mm. is not about but age. It's not, even, it's not even about experience. Mm. Driving is about knowledge. If you know when the condition is worse, you are, you are mandated and necessary to park your vehicle, put on your hazard light, and park properly. It's the knowledge, and that saves you. But some people, they say they have experience. That they will be, you hear people discussing that I have experience, I can do it. It was raining so heavily, and this is how and how and how I drove to reach home. <laughs> These are the issues. You understand. Speed. So, driving under special conditions does not have speed limit. What it has is discretional uh, limit. 
if you can move move if you cannot completely find a place that is safe and pack and the truth is that your men cannot be under reins you know to control such you know uh, maybe apprehend culprits in this case so what is unless the unless call unless the unless rain? unless the rain is heavy our voice walks under the rain we have uh, Rain raincoats, we have boots, we have whatever, and then the job is in our heart and our blood. At times, we go out even without whatever and do the work. But we have all the equipment we needed to be under the rain when they need be. Maybe you see also when we are doing rescue under the rain, you see not only road safety, you see when there are NEMA, when there are VIO, you see we have our raincoats. Those these raincoats they are part of patrol equipment that are supposed to be in the patrol vehicles, and we are doing what road safety is doing. Number one is sensitization, sensitization, sensitization. Public education, public education, public education. Calling people on radio, on TV, meeting them in their offices, stakeholder meeting, collaboration, training, and the training of drivers, and what have you. Mm -hmm. That's number one, and what is more important. Mm -hmm. Because when they are enriched with knowledge to know what they are supposed to do, when and when and how, mm -hmm. then we have 50 percent solve the problem that is what we are doing number one number two we are doing enforcement mm -hmm. i always tell you we have different types of special patrols we are doing own, apart from the daily patrols we do mm -hmm. number one every day we go out to do traffic control every day apart from that every day we go out to do what patrol to check drivers even today in the morning before i embark on other activities i have to uh, test somebody using an alcoholizer because the guy was arrested by a general in the Nigerian army and handed over to us. The general understand this guy the way he was driving. Mm. Maybe he's either drunk he's or, or even he's a criminal. Okay. So he arrested him by himself and hand over to the safety team that he met. Mm. After handing over and that they, they, they imported the vehicle in the base. When I was called, I came down and now why is the driver? I said, why bring your other gate? Let's test him whether he is under influence of alcohol, alcohol or any other substances. Number one, I invited a policeman. Let's check the vehicle. Maybe there are certain things that he carries. Mm. is a criminal yeah, yeah. that he is it's rushing to. to go and, deposit. and we do all that. At the end of the day, we booked him. The, the driver doesn't even have a driver's license. And is driving a GMC bus. A very big bus, GMC. So, this is one of the things well, you understand like yeah. i told you earlier we are collaborating mm. all the security agents we work in synergy, synergy. Mm. we work together whenever there is an issue that can cause harm to life or to safety of nigerians on the road we are all coming together mm. to ensure that that particular thing is eradicated or is handled and that's what we are doing apart from enforcement like i told you we go to their offices we go to their garages we go to wherever and then we talk to people when we bring them into the office we have a public enlightenment unit that sat people down talk to them enlighten them we read them highway courts and what have you but we carry that enforcement is a cane it's a good move we book you we mm. find you mm. we give you a public enlightenment before we now of let you that go them. <laughs> that is that is what we are doing okay. but i'm calling i'm calling this that in the people driving in the fct should understand that for us to have good roads does not want us to be over speeding mm. speeding is dangerous it, is. it only leads you to see speed below the ground sure. like i always said any accident that happened or any road crash that happened if you're not on speed it is minor you find that the driver and the passengers in the vehicle are not having serious injuries and then the vehicle will not be seriously damaged but when you are on speed mm -hmm. i'm telling you it will and claim lives fatality. it will have serious fatality mm -hmm. major injuries and vehicles some of them right up so people should mm -hmm. avoid over speeding it is not we bad can go on and on and on and on on this uh, <laughs> that is true uh, uh, SCC, uh, Ibra, <laughs> of course i know that whenever i come to the studio time is not never enough that for is us true. to that discuss is true. that is true that is thank true thank you so much thank for you so much. all this useful information you have given to God us as regards speeding and how to save guys. and then before you go one major or thing jumping up traffic light okay. people are beating traffic light there are accidents we recorded that because of people are beating traffic like people should be very careful even if there's no police no reception no VIO, nobody please when they stops you stop
stop. Prepare to stop when you see the amber. The mm. amber means prepare to stop. Mm. In short, when you see the amber from green to amber, you know the next one that is coming is red. red. Just stop when you see amber. It's okay. And then when you see amber when you're on red, don't go. Don't just move until it gives you the full green. Because somebody somewhere will be trying to beat the amber mm -hmm. and so there's going to be crash. another issue that we are having in FCT. That is it. Thank and you I hope much. our a viewer out there is uh, taking note of what you are saying. Exactly. Thank you. We appreciate Thank your you very much. this program Thank you as very regards much. to road safety. Thank you very much. SEC Imra. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, I've been speaking with Assistant Corps Commander Imrana Ibrahim Lamba, who is the Unit Commander, Central Business District, Abuja. You've heard it all from him. They say a word is enough, enough for, for the wise. wise. The program is still Good Morning Abuja. Stay with us. We have more for you.